several weeks ago. Kavada outside of the boot, and Manus has to make the save. It's good coming in from the angle, isn't it? Yeah, very good. I mean, again, very positive. Again, a little bit of play, a little set piece off the throw-in. Worked it well and got Kavanagh in, and he had a strike, and Manus had to deal with it. It was easy in the end, but he still had to deal with it. Again, it must be very difficult out there with the win, but again, look, these are good players. These are very good players, and there you go, there's Jack again. Lovely ball in towards Gaffney. Gaffney's going to zoom in on goal here. Rory Gaffney! Mahar got something on that. Trying to put it across the goalkeeper like you should. And he just stuck out a right hand and diverted away from getting into the net. But what a ball that was. Each time you get a chance, I mean, there's the ball. You can see, look, he's onto it like a flash. One touch, head up, strike. Good save by the keeper. Not more he can ask for. Yeah, stayed big. Found ahead of own toll lurking at the back post. Big tall man. Mike Janet's also there. There's the signal. The wind assisted to the back post again. And sneaking around the back post was Daniel Laverty. A few of the Derry supporters thought that was in the back of the net because it ruffled the side netting. <laughs> yeah, well, we can hear the cheer anyway, can't we, if it does go in? Yeah, I mean, look, it's a good ball to the back post. And like in fairness to Laverty, he's, he's, made, he's made it wrong the back post, and it's a good corner kick. And this is clearance as the ball once again held up by the wind. Headed on by Lopez. Passes away from Roman Finn. Kavanagh. Has to play the ball to McGonagall. More in the way. Here's McGonagall! Good stop by Pico Lopez. Now he's made a very good impression that the African Cup of Nations played for Cape Verde. His positioning, twice we've seen it in this game, is excellent. Yeah, it's a brilliant ball, but it's also a fantastic run. Great centre forward run. But there you go, that's why he's, he's different class, Pico Lopez. Brilliant defender. Oh, that's good hassling from Kavanagh again, he's had a very good half. Garnigal galloping forward outside of him to Akintunde. Oh, he had a chance perhaps to roll it into Akintunde, and he's got his hands up saying, why didn't you do that? He just took the shot instead. He'd either way. I mean, he'd cabin on his left as well, and Akintunde both, you know. And again, look, he's just gone through himself. He's, he, he just has one thing on his mind, and that's goals. No, he's a real leader, all right. Ronan Finn, second spell at the club. He's successful, of course, at Dundalk. Awkward. Oh, it's a lovely effort, which the keeper just has to pull away. Andreo, back to goal. Bicycle kick on target. Yeah, it's an easy, easy save, save in the end for Maher, but he had to deal with the first corner of the game for Rovers. Yeah, it's brilliant. I mean, it's what you want to see, you know. I mean, again, it's a half chance, and he's made it a chance. On either side, that comes in the 54th minute. That's better. Kavanagh tries to just lay it in. Is that a penalty? Yes! Well, every ball we've seen so far, pretty much, from free kicks has been floated into the area. This one, short passing ball into the area. And there you get a penalty. Yeah, and it is. I mean, it, look, it's a great little ball inside. He's taking it. Jack Bourne is there. He's just trying to get in over him. And again, he's just got the touch in the back of the heel. And once he got touched at all, he's going down. So, Will Patchy, short run up. Alan Manis. Rouse like a cat on the line. Can he save this one? Hitch kick goal. <laughs> Nicely done by Will Patching. And Derry City take the lead in the 55th minute. Manus, no chance. Nice penalty by Patching. Learned a lot from his time playing in the African Cup of Nations from Cape Verde. Here's Finn now operating on that right hand side. Watts towards Gaffney. There's O'Neill, he was down in the edge of the area, free kick. No, he's claiming a penalty, but it was clearly outside. And Harkin feels the pain. Yeah, I mean, he's done well, Gary O'Neill. I mean, he's come inside, this is what he does best. I mean, he's got it on me, he's getting... It's, it's soft, um, and he's got it. Um, but he can thank himself, look, I mean, you look, the leg has gone across. So they have options. 
who's it gonna be? Probably Watts. It is Watts. Goal! Lovely finish. Wall did not do its job. And that was the keeper side as well. And the wall did not do its job. No, and again, look, I mean, they, they put enough across, so, so like, what's the keep? Again, and look, I'm not going to blame the keeper here, but, but what is the keeper doing? I mean, look, credit Watts, great free kick, you know, I mean, it's like a, a wall and a broken wall, so the keeper's looking, and then he's giving out to people, but once it goes near men, you've got to put your head to it, John, firstly, right? Yeah. Secondly, if you're saying, as you're agreeing with, as you agree I with, think the keeper's it's the, the keeper's side, and he's yeah. got to be there, and he hasn't been there. <laughs> There's a stand. The, you're obviously pondering that in your seven-hour journey up here. Here comes <laughs> Cavanagh's corner. Good delivery underneath the crossbar and Rovers scramble it clear. Well, not exactly scramble it clear. That was good stuff from work. Just kept his head. Overall, your assessment, Pat? Ah, look, I think it's been a pleasure to be back up here. I mean, it's a great stadium, great people, you know, great crowd. It's been rocking. Good to see Derry play the way he can play again. And, Bring what they're bringing through. I think in the end, it's probably well, there's a minute to go. It's probably going to be a fair result, one all, and I don't think people can be disappointed about it. Um, but you know, I mean, Derry would be very happy with what they've done tonight, and they'll say to themselves, you know, we've held the champions to a draw, and we were comfortable doing it, um, so we shouldn't fear anything. Coming out to McGonagall. Oh, Lopez has given it away, and here's McGonagall. He's going to have to do this all on his own now. Here's McGonagall. Just as Bob was saying, they'll be happy with a 1-1 draw with the champions. A mistake by Lopez, who gives the ball away to McGonagall, and he crashes it past Manus, having it doing it all himself. It's Derry 2, Sherbrooke Rovers 1. McGonagall had an awful lot to do, an awful lot to do, but he backed himself, and he took it from his right side, and he took it into his inside, and he put a left foot a shot into the top corner. It was absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, you see it again. He's having a look. There's no one on. He's flicked it inside. He's had a look. Top bins. Different, different class. Uh, unfortunately, we got some spectators on the pitch at both ends, and it was uh, Shamrock Rovers supporters getting involved. And we played eight minutes of added time now. Into the ninth. All eyes on the referee, and there goes the final whistle. They celebrate at the Ryan McBride, Bradley Wells Stadium. 2-1 victory, Patching's penalty 55, cancelled out by Dylan Watts, his thundering free kick. And then that wonderful finish after the mistake by Pico Lopez allowed McGonagall in. Derby City 2, Shamrock Rovers 1.